the 800 runners. We've got the 400 runners. This is the New Balance Backmarkers 400 metres final about to come up. And we have, uh, as you can hear, Zoran Vitovic in grey. He is the outmarker on 44 metres. Let's have a look at the start list. Chris Burkhart from 18 metres. Aaron Jones from 18 metres. Ben McNaughton, 28. Cameron York, 30. Sandilands, 34. Graham Verbunt, 36. Chris Roach, 38. And Zoran Vitovic, 44 metres. And this is tough. They don't run in lanes here, so don't expect anything. You've got to go around everyone. It's rough and tumble. It's rough. It's probably the most exciting race to watch here if you want to look at the, the, the bit of biffo in the race. There'll always be a, a, a bit of toing and froing here because they've got to get out and around runners. They're starting to run out of legs, and you've just got to pick your line and stick to it. So anything can happen. In white, Aaron Jones. In red, Chris Burkhardt. They are the joint backmarkers from 18 metres. So giving away starts of up to 26 metres, which sounds quite substantial. But when you consider the journey is only 400, substantial. It is only substantial. And again, they just run their own race and off they go and, and try and just get a line if they can to get around runners as easy as they can. You don't want to run up the back of anyone. 10 metres before they get to those men, McNaughton and York. The New Balance Backmarkers 400 metres final and the man leading them out in grey is Zoran Vitovic from Roach in black, Verbunt in pink, Sanderlands in green about to run around him, York in yellow is getting to the outside and starting his sprint down the back straight, then McNaughton in blue and the two backmarkers Burkhardt and Jones still together and making up some ground as they come off the back straight and Vitovic is the rabbit, he's giving them plenty to chase, he leads a couple of metres as they go past the Hall of Fame, now the challenges are coming, York in yellow, out in blue, McNaughton is starting to run on pretty well now, and also the green Sanderlands is trying to push his way oh. through there's the rough and tumble, oh, down go. goes Verbunt, that's what Steve Monaghetti was talking about, and uh, now breaking away is York, he's got a couple of metres in front, the white Jones flashing home but York beats Jones, third Sanderlands but it was like a boxing match rather than a running race on the home turn Well that's it, you just try and hope a line opens up for you, and we, we saw that it didn't there, and when they're that tight, your legs are gone, you just got to get there as best as you can and unfortunately we saw that affected the race result but even once they got out of that tumble they, they were their legs were tied you see they're just hard to believe they're, they're straining like that to get to the 400 meter finish line that's how much that lactic's building up in your legs we just saw graham verbunt look around and say did you get the truck that hit me <laughs> here it is and you can see that he's going for almost a non-existent gap and he just goes across the heels of the gray and the black in vitovic and roach and he had nowhere to go but down no and you, you can't expect to just jump jump sideways you've got to go straight forward he holds your line and he jumped across his line and and that, that's, that's, that's pro running over 400 for you. And here's another angle of it. And you don't get that many bodies into that little space. <laughs> Not with tired legs anyway, that's for sure. No, Matthew Sanderlands too was the other one who was running up behind them and looking for a run and it just stopped his momentum a little bit. But what about Aaron Jones from the white? He got right through, missed all the trouble and has just missed out. Yeah, I've got to say, I thought those back markers were no chance. Yeah. But that, that just it caught up in all that action. They got a bit of a run through there. They didn't really have to go out and around then. So I, they didn't really have to go out and around then. So opened it up and gave them a bit of a sneaking chance. Didn't quite get there though. Right? Well, we should pay due respect to the winner we've spoken about the man who fell over but it was Cameron York the winner and uh, I think Brad McEwen's got him with him Cameron well done mate you got there just oh, I'm very happy with that um, I don't know what to say I'm lost for words I guess I just thank lots of people especially my coach who's put a lot of faith into me Matt Barber you're the best and all the boys and girls back at Curtin your tops too Cameron, it got a bit rough and ready there down the back straight. You managed to avoid it. Well, I had to go hard at the start, which I didn't do in my heat, and so I was in the right position. So I think I did all the right things. I ran the perfect race again, so I didn't have to be involved in it. So, yeah, a bit of luck, I guess, as well. Well done, mate. Bit of luck, the perfect race. You've had a win here at Stall. Well done. It's awesome. Thanks very much. Thanks. And yeah, everyone's pretty pleased just uh, being able to compete at Stall, but to actually win at Stall is something else. Yeah, he said it. He ran the perfect race, and it is the perfect race if you win. It's all you need to do, and he did it uh, magnificently well.